All right, so when I first started creating my first cloud-based RDS database and web server, I followed the tutorials on this page. The funny thing was, I couldn't connect to my database through the MySQL workbench after completing the tutorials. This is because I was trying to do it directly through RDS rather than going through EC2 or Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud. So if you are struggling the same way I was, this is what you have to do to connect. In MySQL Workbench, go to Database, Connect to Database. In the Connection Method dropdown, select Standard TCP slash IP over SSH. Next, I'm going to Alt Tab back to my browser and navigate to my AWS console. Now, go to your EC2 dashboard. Select the Instances option and then select your named instance. Now, copy the public DNS and go back to MySQL. Paste your copied value into the SSH hostname box. In the SSH username box, type EC2 user. I do believe it's case sensitive, so keep that in mind. Next, find your key pair value that you downloaded when creating your EC2 instance. I know the name of mine, so I'm going to type the file name directly and then click open. Once you're finished with that, go to your RDS page and then click on the Instances tab. Open up your MySQL RDS instance and then copy your endpoint. Go back into MySQL and paste that into the MySQL hostname field. Remember to remove the trailing port number since that is provided in the next field. Next, Enter the username and password that you created when making your RDS instance. Alright, now just hit OK. It takes a couple of seconds to connect, and there you have it. You now know how to connect to an AWS RDS database using MySQL Workbench.